King. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Education. Can the Minister advise the House how the Marshall Liberal Government is planning for the future by delivering a $1.3 billion school infrastructure program across South Australia, particularly in the electorate of King? The Minister for Education. I thank the member for King for her question. I know the passion that she has for education. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I've seen on the ground in her electorate as recently as last week when I was visiting schools in her electorate, uh, talking to uh, teachers, talking to uh, children indeed, and leaders at schools and preschools about the work that is done in those schools, the work the education department is doing in those schools, and indeed the engagement the member for King has with those schools and preschools. Uh, a number of them are very pleased in particular about the work the Marshall Liberal Government has done during this period of the coronavirus pandemic, where we have introduced uh, indeed, new grants to every preschool in South Australia of $20,000 last year, $30,000 yeah, this yeah. year, to enhance their infrastructure to do urgent maintenance tasks. Uh, a number of them had had these tasks on their list for years and years and years, but had never had the flexibility in their budgets to be able to address them. Uh, and indeed, those preschools, uh, whether they were doing nature play areas or fences or kitchen upgrades or tiling or roofing or veranda extensions, or indeed, as one of the preschools that we visited with the member for King last week, all of those things all at once because of the support that's been given uh, through the pandemic through these two rounds of grants to all of our preschools. Um, also, all of our schools have benefited uh, from those uh, maintenance grants of between $20,000 and $100,000. Also, extended maintenance grants for those uh, projects, $25 million worth of grants at earlier last year, uh, for schools that had had projects on the department's waiting list for some time, but the annual program of minor works had never been sufficient uh, to cover it. Uh, indeed, Salisbury East High School was one of the schools that the member for King and I visited again uh, last week. Uh, and they have benefited from hundreds of thousands of dollars of grants in that space uh, and are able to address some of those urgent maintenance tasks uh, which were not funded for year upon year upon year upon year. Uh, that work is now able to be underway and really, really grateful uh, to have the opportunity to spend time with staff and students and the, principal, the new principal uh, at that school. Of course, there are significant maintenance projects uh, in, around South Australia, $1.3 billion worth of work. Uh, we welcomed uh, in late 2017 uh Towards the end of the, uh, the, the 16 years that Labor was in power, the commitment of about $700 million, uh, mostly as a result of the sale of the Lands Titles Office, some of it going through the forward years of the education infrastructure budget, and of course $15 million they identified uh, from their commitment to flog off the land at the Ross Trevor campus of Nord Marialta High School that they put into the budget papers but never told anybody about. Uh, we nevertheless welcomed those investments and we are following through with those investments. Indeed, uh, with the exception of the $15 million that the Labor Party was going to gain from flogging off the land at the Ross Trevor campus of the Nord Morialta High School that they put into the budget but never told anyone about, we've reversed that decision while we investigate what are the future needs Order. for the uh, education Order. department in the eastern suburbs. And that work and that consideration uh, is underway. Um, one of the things that the member for King and I uh, at, uh, learnt last week at the Salisbury Heights Preschool was indeed the value that the preschools, that we know that many schools around South Australia have benefited from the investment we made to take South Australia's school internet from the slowest in the mainland to the fastest in the nation. Uh, a really important project announced at Glenelg Primary School between my member for Morford and myself and the Premier in uh, late 2018. Uh, the uh, Salisbury Heights Preschool, we've expanded it to all preschools. The preschool has particularly identified the value of that during COVID and the relationship they have with their parents in sharing the students' learning. It's just another example of why the investment in high-speed internet, the investment in construction and maintenance is benefiting our schools, helping us deliver a world-class education for all South Australian children. Yeah. Yeah.